Hey guys, Mama Mita here today, and we are in the garden. Ferris and I are working to make an extension, well, a little bit of an extension. We have some little bit of space that we want to uh, use some buckets, some like, you know, the Home Depot, the Lowe's type of buckets. And so we're working on that to plant the tomatoes that uh, we have that, well, we have two tomatoes, but we gotta go get some more. But we're gonna be planting some tomatoes in these Home Depot buckets and, uh, or Lowe's buckets today. And they're gonna be like placed around the front part of the RV. So that way they'll get full sun and stuff. So that's what we're doing. So I'm gonna uh, flip the camera around so you guys can see what's going on. Okay, so there we go. We got our hardworking Mr. Ferris out here today. He is drilling hose in the bottom of these loads buckets for grandma and so that um we can plant these tomato uh plants in them i got two for my uh birthday and mother's day they're uh black well they're chocolate tomatoes and they are so delicious and so i decided that that's what we wanted because the grandkids love tomatoes and so I thought, well, this would be nice if we have about, say, maybe 10 to 15 buckets of tomatoes, then we'll have enough tomatoes for the whole family for the summer and stuff. Now, you see, guys, this is what you do with your grandkids, you know? You put your pocketbook aside, you bring them over, and you do things with them because they're going to always remember these things. When you're passed away and gone, they're going to remember. Oh, I remember Grandma helping me to learn how to put a garden together with buckets. <laughs> you want to spend time with them, not money. Well, you do that pretty good, Ferris. Wow. So let me talk to you a little bit about this garden. Now, this is Cinder Block uh, Garden is the kitchen garden. This is the number one kitchen garden. And why I'm saying that is because a lot of this uh, space that we use here uh, is used for mostly the kitchen, like actual food food. And we have the green onions. So now there's really no part of the green onions except the very, very end of the green onions because you can even cook these up, okay? These are very nice, but these onions, I just use them. I keep cutting them. I use them for soups. I use them in tacos. We use them for like everything. They're just, they're great. Then we've got these yellow flowers. These are very eatable. They're delicious. They taste kind of like, a um, little bit like a broccoli would taste, but they're just really delicious. Now, if you notice that the Brussels sprouts will come back, they will they will make great big leaves, and then they make the flower after they're, they're going. I've really never uh, gotten too much Brussels sprouts out of these things. They just give us big leaves, and what we use at those leaves will, when they're great big, like this here, we stuff them, and they are just really delicious stuff. Um, Brussels sprout leaves. <laughs> then this here's some parsley. And I replanted some parsley. I don't know. I'm hoping that it's going to take, but it might not. But we'll see. We'll see. We've got time. So I've got all that. And then I've got the kale. All different types of kale. My favorite kale, though, is the Dino kale. Then we've got some black radishes in here well these are this is a uh, rosy ba uh, basil but then we've got the dino kale right there and the dino kale will last it will just it will it lasted uh two years with me i didn't have to replant it for two years but now this year the freeze was pretty rough and so i i had to take those out that's some deal there so all that's going in, and then there's a bunch of parsley here, and then these are my tomatoes. My daughter gave me a, a, a yellow pear tomato, and then the one next to it, this one here, is the chocolate. But we're gonna get some more today. And then you see these little things, I call them Johnny Jump Ups, but they're eatable too, the little flowers on them. That there's a lavender, so I can make lavender scones. And this here is the orange peppermint. And it's really good with my teas. Now, this is a new thing here that we're doing this year. This is leeks. And then check this out. 
This one here is a garlic chive. And there's some more green onions. Lots of green onions, lots of parsley there. Now with parsley, if you keep trimming it, cutting it very often, it, it gets more mass producing. Okay, and then this one here is, in this box, is the watermelon radish. Now, I don't know if you know about this, but these radishes are very expensive. This is an organic garden. So when you go to the co-op, uh, one big large radish is like $5. But I like radishes. I like to roast them and then have a butter chive uh, little dip for them. There's another one. This one's a, this one here is an African blue basil. Then some more dill, more parsley, and more dill, and that goes all the way down. And so I have a guard to keep a. Uh, the animals out. I don't want no animals in here, you know, because uh, yeah, so I had that there. And that, and this works great too, because what I can do is when the radishes, uh, I mean, when the um, beets were growing, I could put them up here and spray them off and wash them and the, all the dirt and water would just go back into the garden and, and refeed the garden, which worked great. I keep all my tools up there so they're handy for me to use. Now let's go back over here and see how Ferris is doing with these buckets. Oh yeah, look at that, he's got them going. And so now what we're gonna do, after we've done those holes in the bucket, is we're gonna take these paper sacks and we're gonna shred them up, and a little bit of cardboard, and we're gonna put them in the bottom of the bucket. I'm just gonna use that up, cause I, you know, I mean, why not? I mean, it'll just disintegrate sooner or later. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put those in, and then we're gonna load them up I'm not sure which car we're gonna use. We might have to use a Prius, and we probably won't be able to get very many buckets, and maybe at the most six buckets, because I got a car seat in there too. But we're gonna load the buckets up, and we're gonna go over to, uh, to the place and get some really nice dirt. And then we'll come back and we'll, uh, and, oh, and then we'll go to the store and maybe get some more of the tomato plants, and then we're gonna head back and do that. So we'll see you back here. <laughs> Okay, remember, don't forget what you're supposed to tell. Get some dirt, and Ferris is gonna go up to the window and pay for our dirt that we're gonna put in these buckets. Our six Lowe's buckets and our shovel. Goodness, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> And what we did is we put some paper sacks, you know, grocery bags. We put them in there to kind of cover the hose so that the dirt wouldn't out and everything. But we put that in there and that would just be like act as compost for us. It'll break down, trust me, it'll break down later. There's another one. So we did all six buckets, we did that to it. It's for kids not to be shy because you force them to go out and talk to people and listen to the instructions and stuff, and then get the money. Make sure you correct the, uh, collect, make sure that you count the change back, that you got the right amount, that you don't get gypped because you never know, you know. You'd be surprised how you get uh, ripped off at the grocery store because you don't check your bill. So here we go. Let's see what he's got. What do you got to say, Ferris? What did she say? She remembered you. She what? She here. remembered me? Well, of course she remembers me because grandma can't hear with the flip. <laughs> so how much did it cost you? That should change back? Yeah, 1978, uh, 1978. Wow, that's kind of expensive. Well, maybe it's better, well, it's good dirt. So maybe it's better than, um, you know, than what we had before. I don't know, that's, that seems kind of high though. But anyway, we'll see. Okay, so let's get the shoveling that dirt. Let me, let me get the shovel out. So Ferris, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna very carefully and try not to um, try not to get the dirt all around the bucket stuff. You're gonna stick it in there like that, and then you're gonna load it up into the buckets and try not to spill it where it's all over the place because then the bulldozer has to come back out and clean up our mess. All right, so there you go. So you see, this is a good exercise for children to do. Ferris likes doing this stuff. 
<laughs> we're back and we're planting tomatoes. So we couldn't find any more of the chocolate uh, tomatoes. I'm not sure what's going on, why they're kind of like uh, not out right now. There was some last week, but now I'm not seeing them this week. So we're, we'll have to figure out if we have to maybe go to the nursery to get a couple more of those because we really did want to have those chocolate um, tomatoes because they are really very tasty they got a strong taste to them and they just they would go really well with a heavy duty type salad now this one here what kind is that one ferris sun gold tomato sun gold tomato okay that one is the sun gold so we were out and when we were shopping for the tomatoes a lady said that the sun gold is a really good tomato. So we took her advice and we picked up a couple of sun golds. Sometimes Ferris, if it does, oh, there you go. Sometimes if it doesn't want to come out, then you can just kind of squeeze it, move it around the plastic and it'll come out then. One year we had uh, tomatoes. We had about 15 tomato plants and we had tomatoes all the way to October. We had so many tomatoes. And so what we did is we, uh, put them in baggies and we froze them to bring them out to use at a later time and it just worked perfect. My parents used to do that too. They would take the tomatoes and they would cut them up like a salad and then mama would bring them out and she would uh, leave them out to defrost and they would be just like they came out of the garden. Had a stepsister that used to use the, um, the milk cartons. In those days we didn't have the, uh, the plastic uh, containers of milk it didn't come like that it came like in the milk carton it was made out of it like uh, I don't know what you call it. it had like a waxy type film on the outside of it. I forget now what you call it but anyway she would use those to store stuff in in her freezer and they were just like fresh out of the garden Ferris is really listening to those buckets do it right <laughs> So when we got the, the dirt, the six buckets that were Home Depot buckets, they cost us 20, almost $20. So we might want to, because we've got a lot more buckets to fill. We had someone that gave us a bunch of buckets. So now what we'll have to do is figure out if possibly we can maybe get some dirt hauled here and see if that would um, be a little cheaper. Now, Ferris. I think you should come hold the camera and let Grandma finish that one off. And I'll show you what you have to do on that one. Okay, so here's a little trick. Hold the camera. Good. All right. So in that case, what I would do, don't make a mess. Try not to. I should have showed you that first. Sorry about that. Okay. Then you pick it up. tried to to get our money's worth out of these buckets of dirt right Ferris <laughs> when we were packing the shovel down on it and now if you get these suckers what I've done before in the past these are called suckers and you can take those and clip them off and you can make another tomato plant because these tomato plants they can get costy this right here yeah you can do like you can do that and stick it in the ground. I would say let this one uh, stay in the ground for a little bit before we do the sucker off of that one. So we got a little bit too much dirt. That's okay. We'll come out and we'll sweep that back. Okay, we'll just use this dirt for, for one of those other parts over there that's like a little low on dirt. Because we really do need to order some dirt. It's been about three years since we had dirt. And the cinder blocks, sometimes what happens, because of all the rain we get, we actually do lose a little bit of dirt that seeps through the cinder blocks. And then what I do is I usually take it like that and wiggle this here, and then it'll pop right out. Well, that's still a little high. Okay, no problem. Okay, now we're, now we're in. All right. 
That's how we got most of our tomato plants before, is that we used those suckers. That way we didn't have to buy more. So you see, that was the whole purpose, Ferris, today of why I was telling you to, um, to pack it, the dirt, because we could use it again. Then we put our labels so we know which ones is what. Okay. So I think we got it, Ferris. Come over here. Okay, guys, so I think that's it for us for today. And if you guys like this video today of us planting these tomato plants, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. So you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching our video today. Bye now.